Uh, Alright, so what I'm doing now is I'm fishing for bait, yellowtail. Yellowtail mostly, sometimes you get mullet like this as well. Um, if you've watched my mullet video as well, I'm using basically the same rig. Okay, I have a few hooks on there. Uh, essentially it's a bait jig now. So the bait which I'm using is really, really simple. Again, it's just slices of white bread. Now what I'm doing is that um, I'm just pinching a small, really, really small piece of bread on it, making it dough-like so it remains on, on the hook. Again, I'm using, I think it's a size 8, size 8 hook or even even maybe a size 10 hook. Uh, I'd, I'd actually go right up to size 12 as well, the smallest. All right, so I have that on there. Just one more. Now, what I want to show you as well, if you can have a look around here. If you come around here, I want to show you the most important thing with yellowtail fishing is pearly. So if you want to have a look down here, um, I have this, this is simple plastic bag, bread in it, mushed up with water, a little bit of oil as well in it, and um, you know, all the time, I just have to shake it every now and then, and as you can see, everything will just come out, and um, that's what will attract all the yellowtail and other fish as well. And this, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cast into that trail, and uh, see if we can pick up on it. Okay. One. All right, so if you have a look here in the water, you can see how my burly trail is. Just fine slices of pieces of bread, white bread. So what I'm going to try and do is try and try to cast into that into that trail and see if I can pick up one, one or two. Okay. These rod holders which I have over here, best uh, investment ever. Picked them up on eBay, I think 20 bucks. And I think I picked them up around seven, eight years ago. And uh, they're excellent. Pack them up, take them wherever you go. They, um, simply they clip on, you tighten it, then you can adjust it. I'll show you over here. Adjust it any way you want. You can go down, up, basically any way you want. They work treat as you can see this one over here. So I'm just going to let that flow. Let it drop, it drop it down a bit more. Just let it flow. Hopefully something will pick it up. Alright, so I'm on. Oh, that wasn't even five minutes. And I'm on. Yep, sure enough. Beautiful yellow tail. Let's get it to the boat. There we go. That's our yellow tail. And straight off to my bucket. I'm just going to show you the profile of the yellow tail. Come on. Nice. Here's our yellow tail. Um, you have to be careful. They've got these really pokey. Where is it? Yeah, there we go. These coots here on the side. And on the bottom as well, they've got these really, really tough ones. So you have to be careful as well. But he's excellent for bait. You can chop him up. You can uh, put him on live. I think I'm going to put him on live. Oh, there you go. Another one. Really light, light gear. Oh, he's a very light, he's a large one. Not much to take off. There we go. Lovely, nice yellow tail. Yep, came off at the right time. And there we have him over there. He's a nice fellow. It's another very large yakka. Are you still fighting it? Just caught now. Okay, so this is that. Uh, um, this what I've made is a double hook rig, and I'm going to use that. Uh, the yellow tail which I caught earlier, if I can get it, I'm going to pop him on this live bait, he'll remain alive. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop one hook, 
property's back, making sure that it's above the lateral line over there. Another hook, I'm going to stick it through his mouth, through his joint. He, he'll remain alive for hours and hours and hours. And hopefully, get us hooked onto something. That's it over there. We have the one through the back and the one through the mouth. I'm going to throw him out. And we're out here in Cullen Creek, you can get anything. Um, caught salmon, tailor, like tuna, hair tail, goo fish. So anything is possible. I don't have to throw out that far. I'm happy with that. And he'll just sit there on the, on the bottom. So he'll just sit there on the bottom.